Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a flip through of my little tag ring that I created for the prompts from By the Will for God for their gratitude project for November. We were focusing on the attributes of God and it was just a really good study. And so um, I think the prompt list is still available for free up on the website if you're interested in getting that. Um, it would be just a good study to do um, at any time of year, not really even just, you know, for gratitude time. Um, but I have already done one flip through of the first half of this little ring. And so I'm just going to start with day 16. I'll try to link the video down below if you want to see the first half of these cards. Um, this is day 16. I, again, I was using some simple stories, um, ephemera and some by the will for god pieces they just happen to coordinate really well and i was trying to use up some of my stash that i have just had in for months so um this is a simple stories this is by the will for god um and then i have some embossing here in the background day 17 i did some stenciling with some white um light light and fluffy modeling paste paste from the crafters workshop I really love how modeling paste texture paste looks over craft so I did some of that stencil this is from this month's kit from by the well and um, just added some different pieces some of these are simple stories some of this is by the well so um, again here's another mixture I have an, an old stencil from by the well in the background here I have some fabric from the kit this month and then these are simple stories pieces that's day 18. This is day 19. This is also um, from the Simple Stories paper pack. And they had these, you know, kind of, there's a six by eight paper pack and it had like collage sheets that had a big title. And I knew I would never really use that. So I just kind of pulled out the section of it that I thought would be most helpful. Um, and just as a decorative element. And this was a day that I was really um, just kind of pressed for time. So it just made a simple background. I didn't have to do anything. All I did is add a little bit of paper and the um, sticker for this day. And that was it. So that was day 19. Day 20, um, they also, Simple Stories had the little, had a little truck in there, which I just think is so cute. So I have some pattern paper from By the Well in the background and then just made a couple little clusters there. Day 20, this is um, pattern paper from By the Well. And then this is a Tim Holtz embossing folder that I just did on craft cardstock. And then um, I cut that down to fit on here. And then this ephemera piece is from Simple Stories. Day 22, this um, is actually a pattern paper, an old paper from By the Well. Um, and then these are some Tim Holtz leaves that are die cuts, and these are actually cut out from By the Wolf of God paper as well. This was one of the ephemera pieces, and then just some ribbon that I got for, at Hobby Lobby. Day 23, I'm using, again, this is some Braille paper that I um, colored with some Distress Oxide inks. I have a video on how I did that. Um, I'll try to remember to link that down below as well. I've used this pattern, this braille paper several times in this, um, in this little tag ring because I, I just love it. Um, and then I have again, a mixture of some simple stories, things here. This is some, a Tim Holtz leaf cut out of by the well for God paper. And then some more simple stories, ephemera pieces. And then here is um, page, day 24. Again, this is a simple stories piece. And then here's a little, um, this is just another section of that um, Tim Holtz um, embossing folder that, I mean, because it creates a pretty big section. And since these tags aren't super big, I was able to just kind of use some of the leftover bits just to kind of do a little cluster down here at the bottom for day 24. Day 25 is really simple too. I just did some embossing or some stenciling in the background. This is a By the Wolf of God stencil. Um, and then the pattern paper and one of the ephemera pieces from the devotional kit this month. This is day 26. I have just a couple of the pattern papers and ephemera pieces from By the Well and um, a little label there. Just kept that pretty pretty simple as well. I, I tried not to take too much time um, 
with the decorating of really of any of these tags this month um, because I was focusing on the writing. I wrote out all the scriptures and stuff and focusing on the study of the attributes instead of really just worrying too much about, um, you know, tons of new ideas for uh, different kinds of techniques or whatever. I just didn't have the time to to do all of that. So um, I kept my pages pretty simple so that I had time to do the study. So again, this pack ground here is another one of those from the um, Simple Stories paper pack. And then I just added a couple little, these are actually just scraps that I had from By the Well and then a couple ephemera pieces from Simple Stories. And that was just a really simple card there. Day 28, again, this in the background here is an old By the Well paper. This rest of this is Simple Stories. It's day 28. Day 29 is again, a kind of a mix of Simple Stories pattern paper, some by the well ephemera pieces, and they just, all of it just really coordinated. I was really excited about how well these um, two kits went together for this little project. I was able to use up quite a lot of things on here. And then last but not least, this is day 30. I used my very favorite paper from By the Well. And then again, another little piece of that Braille paper, some book text, one of the last pieces that I had left of my um, ephemera pack from Simple Stories. And um, and that is it. And I, the this tag ring kit came with some uh, different like fibers and stuff that you could use to make like a uh, tag bob or whatever. And I, I was going to add them. In fact, I've had them on my ring and off my ring multiple times, but in the end, I just decided um, just to keep it really simple. And I, um, I ended up pulling them all off of my ring here. So this is what it looks like its entirety. You can kind of see it's, it's pretty chunky. It was a good time spent in studying these beautiful attributes. And um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. That just helps other people to be able to find my channel. And um, until next time, bye.